Hi all, Joy here. I have this uh, blue jean journal that is a left-handed journal made for a friend. And uh, the kit I used in this is from Junk with Steph, and the name of it is Urban Angel. Just a, uh, I took an old pair of blue jeans and I tore it up. And so I'm gonna give you a quick little flip through first, and then I, that way if somebody wants to um, just see a quick flip, we're gonna do a quick flip, and then I'm gonna go back and describe it all for you. So just a really super quick flip details to come in just a bit oops i like to um, share the journal quickly see if you like it and want to watch the video and if you do then there you go now you know but pretty much um that's it and that's the back side so here we go first of all I wasn't intending to make this left-handed and when I cut the pocket off I liked the way it looked so um, I went with the left hand and then I'm like I am right-handed and it's very difficult to make a left-handed journal when you're doing a right-handed but I made two different tassels the first tassel I made is here I put some pretty big buttons on there and a key I worked the blue jeans in there with a little bit of um, fabric and eyelash trim, you know, just a little bit of everything. I do have different kinds of tags and I, this is um, some of the, the oh, what's it called? <laughs> you know, the velour stuff, whatever it's called. So there's that. I put some lace with some of the jute trim on there. I roughed this up by cutting it and using um, some cheesecloth underneath has some flowers. I t altered the pocket so it wasn't, wasn't hanging down so far. Oops, you can't see that, sorry. All right, in here I did a little bit of water coloring. I used um, the buckle off of the jeans on here, so it, I thought that complemented it very well. And, these came from AliExpress. I had bought this um, as a curtain, honestly. And then this was part of that curtain as well. These little, I call them dingle balls, but they're, you know, puff thingamajiggers. Um, someone had given me this girl and I watercolored, penciled her over here. I made several altered paper clips and put them on here. Again, the kit is a beautiful kit, um, Junk with Steph. This is a playing card here, and I just left it in its little envelope and stuck it on the page and put the altered paper clip on, on top of it. And I can't remember which side, I think it's this side. It is. Let's see if I can get them back on. You know what, I'm gonna just keep it going. Save time, because I have hard time uploading. Um, this is, can flip out and you can write here or right here if you wanted to. I just used blue jeans throughout, put a little couple buttons on there and uh, sewed part of the jeans on the outside there. I put 20 because it is the year 2020. I just sewed on the front of these and um, then I went with distress stain over the top of them. And I think I used faded jeans and, boy, I can't remember the pink color. I added a little bead and stuff at the top there. Urban Angel, that's the name of this kit. It's a really pretty kit. I did add pink throughout the journal because I thought it needed a little touch of pink. So... It's a pretty simple, small journal, but it's beautiful. It has a lot of stuff in it. So, um, I added just little touches of pink. So that pink is not normally in there on this stuff here. But, little eyelash trim over here. Um, I just, I use the jeans here and there, everywhere. 
and Rick Rack has two signatures. That's the first signature. This you may not be able to see, but it has a, um, I used an embossing folder and put a paisley um, crunch to it, <laughs> shall we call it. I took a picture of the blue jeans and put, it did the, did that there made a you know made a little fake pocket and I cut it open just like I did the real thing so pretty simple pretty cute I didn't really like this because it got too pink on me but you know it just flips up as writing space it was kind of blue paper and I believe I had dyed that with avocado maybe I can't remember it's been so long ago I used some script stamp or a uh, stencil here this does have, and I don't have any nails, but just a little thing there to pull out. And then here, I just put some writing papers here. And then that just tucks right in there. I did a, um, the fabric, I that came off of a pillowcase, and I had this extra scrap, so I put it on there, and then I put a little catch guard here. And then... This is the fabric that this is. It, I just thought it looked really cute. I was kind of going for the 70s look, you know. I had a scrap piece of fabric here from the jeans, and I just put it on a piece of blue. But I don't know if you can tell. There's some bling pieces in here on top of that fabric doily. And another piece which is an altered paper clip there's the other side of that and I just put in um, a little bit of book page a little parchment paper to kind of jazz it up a bit and then that goes there this is just a gorgeous kit. Now I'm not fond of angels so I took most of the angels out. If you're probably looking at it thinking where's the angels? It's called Urban Angel. Well, I love the colors but I didn't really care for angels that much so I did re hide them. Um, this is an altered paper clip here as well. I jazzied that up a little bit. We'll just set it there. That way we don't have to deal with it right at the moment another the other side of that and the reason I did the paisley is because over here there was some paisley here so I made um, another to match the one on the front because this blue jean this was the center of the back of the jeans and it just called for it I thought it had to have it and I made a couple more tags here and other than that Oops, got it stuck. Got it stuck. The back of it, I thought it looked like a wallet. The, um, oops, there we go. I thought it looked like a little wallet, this envelope. So I made an altered paper clip here again. And then I put parchment paper on the back. And it's kind of like in the 70s, and we have the boyfriend-girlfriend thing going on. And I just stuck some of the ephemera pieces in there. You can see the angel here a little bit. On that one, there's an angel here. That's what your... Oops, you guys can't see. It's a little bit bright. Anyway, that's the angels and stuff there. So I just put those ephemera pieces in there just to kind of hang out. And the altered paper clip on it and put a doily on the back. I tore this, cut it and tore it. These jeans were pretty ratty to begin with, so um, just stuck a doily on there. I hid my um, spine sewing. So anyway, that's it. Oops, that fell out. I'll find its home. I'll find its home, but anyway. Thanks for sh coming and seeing what I've been up to. This is so pretty. I really like it. Just a lot of fun. So you can visit me at JJ with Joy on Facebook. I have an email, JJ with Joy 
at gmail.com and of course on YouTube at JJ with Joy. So thanks for coming. Thanks for being here and uh, come see me.